and then you have uh, the protect and put the top of the door where the machine is on the way. Yeah, there's a pretty cool one there. Yeah, I don't know if you know the people. I mean, that's going to happen, uh, but, you know, uh, there are some of them.
and that would have slipped our best mark in history. He says 97 clips are currently in line for both courts, but are not bunched up in the bay, causing poor air quality because of the key system. The 43% more empty containers than last year have moved back to Asia, thanks to the threat of a drug deal. In LA, fourth impression, KFI News. We got a drive on the side. You bet you have a lot of fun. You might just do the now. I was speaking about cargo containers. We took up the headset and coming south five and up down towards four and south five at the 138. So instead of double, I mean, it's barely out of the right lane. A lot of that too. But again, instead of double, it's a big cut. So be careful going through. Now, so it's kind of a long time problem at this point. Not to the east. If you're going through Pomona, you can fix the dining bar to ride in your box for a long time. Not to the the world in back up. No, 57 and east 50. It's kind of slow approach in that area, but not too bad. Uh, the other way around, south 57 and north 50. That's in pretty good shape. That's the center end of ours. The problem with us down wide, Tina Woodley. It's kind of going away. Not a big deal. And just a word about possible problem I'll check this for and do it next time around. But north 57 at Lambert. You might have the right hand watch to be careful approaching. Don't go away. Stay up by your side. I hope you'll see that faster. I'm Jeff Ball.
to clean off mandatory cuts in uh, the next uh, few years. So the, the water uh, crisis continues. And uh, we're looking at uh, maybe changing the whole contractual level or the contractual issues between the states in Colorado, Colorado, Colorado. All right. Uh, I, I want to go into uh, utter, complete, total hypocrisy. Uh, and this is uh, uh, governmental hypocrisy, but, you know, on a level that actually hits a new level. Not that uh, the parties aren't uh, hypocritical anyway, but boy, this is abuse. So, uh, Governor Christine Noem, a Republican of South Dakota, who blamed uh, the president and the economic policies for rising prices and uh, actually derided the, quote, giant handout of federal stimulus funds uh, said uh, she considered refusing the money over ideological objections. But, like uh, other Republican officials, virtually the entire, and we're talking about uh, uh, the Republican governors for the most part, uh, she said, well, I'll take the money. Uh, that the Democrats passed, the bill that was passed, uh, along party lines of march. Now keep in mind, the federal, the trillions of dollars of stimulus money Every single Republican in both the Senate and the House voted against it, except for two House members, Liz Cheney and Adam uh, uh, Gazinger, or Gleisinger, I always get his name wrong. And the government, well, here's it, basically it. You say no, and uh, then like a seal, you open your mouth like a seal taking fish. Ah, uh, wide open. While saying I hate fish, and I don't want it. Uh, and that is what is going on, and it is stunning, and it's hypocrisy. Now, in this case, uh, Christy Noem of South Dakota explained uh, how critical those federal funds were to South Dakota, how she hated the funds coming in, uh, but still opened her mouth uh, for the fish. Uh, now, she, uh, hilarious, opposed uh, COVID restrictions, including the shutdowns and masks, and uh, said, here's why I'm taking the money. So she opposed the money, uh, officials. Uh, that uh, these relief funds that she rejected would simply have gone to other states, but she didn't reject uh, the, the debt would still be incurred by the Fed. Our people would still, liber uh, the, uh, we would still suffer the consequences of the spending nationally. But you know what? If I, den if I denied receiving that money, the state is going to fall. And just other people are going to get other states. And by the way, Republican leaders across the country are in the same position. Uh, what they do is uh, they deride the money, say, oh no, this is horrible, and at the same time, give, me, give us our share of the money. And uh, this is, uh, yeah, come on, really? Uh, but here's a political statement. Uh, and it makes sense. Uh, we hate spending the money, but you're going to spend it anyway, so we're going to take our share. Uh, because our the basic philosophy is going to hurt our state in many ways. We get the stimulus money, we're paying the taxes on it, so let's take it. Uh, that is really in, in interesting. Republican governors are actually receiving the spending of the money while at the same time attempting to undercut the law that allowed the money to begin to flow. Uh, now you have other governors, Republican governors, that also totally disagree with that money and are taking it and are actually faulting Congress for not giving their state enough money. I mean, how about that one? I mean, that is completely crazy. Uh, Governor Greg Giaforte of Montana, I urge the President of Democrats to turn off the spigot of out of control spending, get inflation under control, but we'll take the money. Almost a billion dollars. Ron DeSantis, Republican of Florida, complained last week uh, that the federal formula for giving out the money uh, what it is to the Florida. Uh, because uh, Florida, there's some limitations to what the Fed are doing. Uh, Florida got $8.8 billion to receive $3.5 billion, which DeSantis said to go for a state transportation workforce detention. Uh, and at the same time, uh, saying that the federal government fueled economic disruption and shut down the vaccine and mask mandate. That's the big problem. Uh, because what the state did is say, we are not going to allow state money, because once the state money goes to the state, it becomes state money, 
saying uh, that any school that may be any district that mandates vaccines, for example, is vaccine, uh, you're not going to get state money. And the federal government, are you afraid? Uh, we're just simply not going to give you the money. And so right now, Florida is $5 billion short. Yeah, well, let them have the fight. They're going to lose. Uh, that's what's happening to everything. I mean, look at where the state goes. Uh, the state's having some 2026 to spend the stimulus money. Uh, budgets are recovering faster than expenses or are faster than expected. And here's a problem a lot of states are uh, having. Uh, the government is, uh, the state is awash in cash, announcing large surpluses, which is not allowed. And so if they just have more money than they know what to do with. California received the most money because this is the largest state. We're sitting on a $31 billion surplus, and we're still taking the money. Now, one thing about Gavin Newsom, he's not making any moves towards arguing we shouldn't get the money or that the Joe Biden's position is wrong or the stimulus package shouldn't have been passed. So no, there's no hypocrisy. We believe in the uh, stimulus package, and we're going to take as much as the feds are going to give us. The Republican governor is saying we don't believe in the stimulus money. We're going to fight the stimulus money. We voted against the stimulus money because uh, all the Republican uh, legislators did. Uh, Republican senator and Congress people did. But you know what? The money's coming anyway. So we want as much as possible. Welcome to the world of politics. Uh, yeah, I have to see a government in here anyway. But uh, this one is a it was. Coming up, uh, we can say sex, sex we're at a crisis level. I mean, we've seen it. The smash and grab, oh my God, look at what it's costing retail. You know what? Not really. And I'll explain that kind of to you. You'll do it. You'll, you'll see what it is. This is KFI AM to 40. Let's check in with a generous. Hurricane force winds are causing power outages across the central U.S. In Wisconsin, nearly 200,000 are without electricity because of damaging winds. And the U.S. had the worst executions yeah. in decades this year. A report released by the Death Penalty Information Center today found there were 11 executions carried out this year by states and the federal government. That's the fewest since 1988. And Delta Airlines is forecasting a pre-tax profit of about $200 million for the fourth quarter. Delta says travel demand and airfare have been rising during the last three months of the year. We've got your drive on the 57 with BKFI in the sky. Uh, uh, for people with missing teeth. I mean, it's been decades probably since you've done anything about it. The teeth are getting looser, they're falling out. You know what? Why, why don't you now change it around and you know, cover your mouth and your teeth? How about eating the food just to eat by eat? How about smiling and taking the photo? Well, that's taken care of by the new permanent teeth in the gauge process. The implementation uh, process that uh, the people are cleaning, are cleaning dental do. Uh, it's while you sleep, you wake Denmark. up to a beautiful Denmark. cloud that you probably Denmark. never had. Denmark. And they've been doing uh, all dentistry for over 53 years. That's, uh, Dr. Cunning is a pioneer in this industry. And uh, get a thousand dollars off your procedure. It uh, uh, January 31st. Uh, you get a free exam. Oh, yeah. a oh. scan a $1,500 value. Uh, they oh, oh, oh. Uh, and then you get a prescription supply. Frozen. smile and the late 640 smile and the late 640 smile. Blue, uh, you're way to the holiday time. Each pack includes one ticket to three or five LA Kings home games. Daisy! Blue Gabby Tropical Mall. To purchase, visit LA Kings.com slash holiday pass. Let's look at your drive on the 57. New best says from this last time around. There's no 57 in Orlando. We've got a lot of problems with white lane. It is history. I can guarantee all lanes are open. Oh, I've heard you Now, there are some problems ahead of you. You're going towards Pomona now. You think the diamond boss, you like him, can block for a long time. You're working on that. But the 6057 merge and the Fred Lance Grand Dome, that's only about a couple of hundred yards apart. And now we got work, possibly, a new problem, so just be careful. Now we're going through mid-city LA, out towards Santa Monica. What's in the back? Problems up out there, making things a little slow, and they should be this early hour, starting out about for a month. Once you get past that, I think it's pretty good. Hey, I hope to get you there faster. I'm Jeff Ball. Hi, we're home.
Dr. Robert Lewis. He's a neurosurgeon at Pickup Family Neuroscience Institute. He loves camping with his daughter. He is also a nationally recognized expert in minimally invasive brain tumor surgery at Hope. Dr. Lewis loves to get to know you and is ready to make a positive difference in your family's life. Get to know Hope. Visit HopeHealth.org and find your physician today. Spectrum Business is proud to support small businesses with the best internet and phone services at the best value. But we want to do more. So now, for a limited time, get one month of services for free. That's right, one month on us. Get 200 megabits per second internet and business phone, and even TV, all free for one month. Plus, free installation. Call 855-757-4544 or visit Spectrum.com slash business today. Restrictions apply. If you thought you missed the lowest mortgage rates in history, you're in luck because they're back. Mortgage rates are near historic lows again. So if you have a mortgage, refinance it and forget it. You'll never have to worry about refinancing again. Network Capital Funding is offering a low 15-year fixed rate at 1.75% with a 1.94 APR. Incredible! Network Capital has built a reputation for saving people time and money with our unique process that's fast, simple, and secure. Our 15-year fixed rate is 1.75% with a 1.94 APR. Now, second chances don't come often and you may never see these rates again. So, refinance it and forget it. That's a 15-year fix at 1.75%. Yes, 1.75% with a 1.94 APR. Call the experts at Network Capital now. Call 800-500-NUMBER-1-HIT. 800-501-HIT. As in home run. Call now and save big on your refi. 800-501-HIT. 800-500-1448. NMLS ID 11712. Not licensed in all states. Visit NLSConsumeraccess.org. Licensed by the California Department of Financial Protection and Innovation. And the financing law. Number 603-D-787. Any opportunity lender. Rates subject to change. It may not be available to pay law. Discount points may apply. Subject to credit approval. Call let me tell you, I am so happy I went with SolarMax. Just wish I did it sooner with all the money I saved. Right now, get SolarMax's offer Tesla 420 panels and power walls for $79.96 per month and zero down. Dial pound 250 for me, sell, and say the keyword SolarMax or go to SolarMaxTech.com. Monthly payment available on a proof credit. See us at the end of the night. your party. Living with someone who tested positive for COVID-19 in the past five days? Those 18 and over who are not vaccinated may be able to take part in a clinical trial for a possible medication to prevent COVID-19. This trial is not for a vaccine, and participation is voluntary. Participants will receive study-related care at no cost and may receive reimbursement for study-related time and travel. To learn more, visit COVIDMoveAhead.com. That's COVIDMoveAhead.com. Sponsored by Merck. Looking for a good investment? Want to reduce uncertainty, financial risk, and hedge inflation? Here are eight reasons to consider NRIA's prime real estate development fund. Steady monthly cash flow payouts with double-digit targeted returns. Solid, affordable, high-demand home and apartment assets back you. New construction built where housing is badly needed and demand booming. Substantial properties already built and selling right now supporting you. Short and long-term strategies with steady cash flow and appreciation anticipated. An industry leader with a 15-year track record of 3 million square feet built and a pipeline of $1.7 billion of new property in progress. Hedge against inflation and receive steady cash flow. Start your due diligence at nria.net or call 800-800-1414. That's 800-800-1414. An offer of securities is only made by the NRIA private placement memorandum. Read it first. Past performance does not guarantee future results. NRIA is a real estate development firm. Learn more at nria.net. I get agitated when people honk their horn at me. I need to be careful uh, on the road because yeah. if I get the horn honked at me and I'm in a mood, I'm very close to a road rage situation. You're close like 94% of the time anyway. So... Gary and Shannon, weekdays at 10 a.m. Lucky we don't have horns in here. <laughs> yeah, you are. On KFI. KFI AM 640, Bill Handel here on a cold, another cold day, Thursday, December 16th. Yeah, 35 degrees again when I got up this morning. Uh, and uh, the trial of Elizabeth Holmes is moving into its final phase today, uh, final argument to the jury, and she, uh, as uh, you no doubt know, or maybe have heard of, uh, created a company called Theranos, which claimed to be able to, with one drop of blood, uh, discern over 200 different diseases. All the tests that you do for other diseases, you don't have to do anymore. 
one drop of blood. Well, it never worked. And uh, the argument is that she knew it never worked, took on investors, big investors, and uh, committed fraud. That's the case. Uh, we have been seeing stories, uh, video, the smash oh. grabs, uh, which right. indicate and tells us crime is exploding. Well, crime is exploding. And uh, in fact, uh, retailers are losing a bunch of money. However, if you look at the actual uh, figures given to us by uh, the various retail organizations, there is uh, the California Retail Association is one of them, and the California uh, Retail Managers are another one. And you look at the absolute num numbers, uh, while on their face it looks pretty impressive with the numbers going up. Uh, if you look at these, uh, retail gangs steal nearly 25% of total sales in San Francisco and Oakland combined, which uh, is not true. The National Retail Federation, the largest retail industry group, estimated that the losses from organized retail theft, for example, the theft rings uh, that we're really afraid of, uh, that amounted to 0.07% of total sales. What? 0.07? That's a rounding error. That's not a number. And so the real number of theft uh, is actually very small when you talk about these gangs and talk about actual shoplifting, which is a far greater number. And I'll also tell you that fraud, shoplifting, uh, internal uh, theft by employees is far, far greater than any of these smash and grabs. Yet they're making all the, they're getting all the attention, and they're really just a blip. Because even though we see them, uh, there really are just a handful of these. Uh, it's kind of crazy with these numbers. It really is. But that goes to show you, oh, uh, how difficult this whole situation is. So let me tell you what is actually going on out there. This one is kind of interesting. Uh, Walmart, for example, was hit with a $17 million judgment after a woman was severely injured uh, because a shoplifter was being chased by the security uh, team or a couple of security officers that were in the store. Except she got $17 million. So you know what's happening? In many, many of these stores, retailers, they're saying the cost of the shoplifting, the cost of overseeing it and trying to apprehend or apprehending shoplifters uh, is greater, uh, the, is less than the cost of security. Especially when you look at the liability part of it. Because now, anytime anybody goes after, well, certainly in Arkansas where this happens, uh, anytime after you've uh, got an injury that happens as a result of a shoplifter running around and it doesn't matter if security uh, guard has caused the injury or not, even the shoplifter causing the injury who is being chased, the stores are liable. You know what they're doing? They're going, we're just going to give up. Just let them shoplift. It's cheaper to do that than training and paying for and the liability of having a security team. Now, uh, there is one flaw in those arguments, because if you knew you could shoplift and get away with it, uh, how many people do you think would do it? Yeah, that's the problem. Uh, because the deterrence of having security there is, uh, it, it's fairly big. But the actual cost is less than the security. That's oh, the same thing with that. why cops are not even busting people for misdemeanors anymore. They don't even care. Because it took more time to arrest them and deal with them than it was for them to be released from the jail on their own recognizance and the court's just not even bothering because it's, there's too many and uh, the punishment now is too rigorous. But when you look at the video, which is striking, Ash and Brad, it's, a, it's just you lose your breath for a moment, uh, it, it's really not the problem. It just makes for good television.
mess with that tonight. I talked to a cop in the Bay Area once, and he was, I happened to be at a story talking to him, and this car was speeding by us. And I said, oh, I, he and I both noticed it, and I said, oh, I'll let you go, thinking I'm going to jump in the car and go after this person. And he goes, oh, I have way bigger fish to fry. Yeah. That is crazy. And when you think about the crimes that are being committed, uh, even in violation of speed, uh, which is very dangerous, it causes yeah. death. I go down the freeway at 75, sometimes 80 miles an hour, usually no more than 75. And cars are doing 100, 120 miles an hour. And they're not getting pulled over. No. I, mean, I don't I don't see a, a CHP officer or a policeman. I, say, I don't know if it's lack of resources or they are busy doing such bigger, uh, you yeah, know, working I don't on know. such bigger but violations. Even, but even the, the, the cops, the highway patrol officers that are on the road and cars go past them at 100 miles an hour, they don't go chasing after them. Hey, welcome to America. It's the new norm. Hey, Coming up, Dr. Jim Keeney, uh, who is, uh, well, we're going to talk about a few things. Uh, certainly the winter surge and the Johnson & Johnson vaccine being attacked again on a different level. So we've got plenty to cover this morning. This is KFI AM 640, live everywhere on the iHeartRadio app, and that is live everywhere, certainly on KFI. Uh, Jennifer Jones, Lee. Police are looking for a 16-year-old from Upland who hasn't been seen in a week. Investigators say Jonah Howland was dropped off at Upland High School last Wednesday and hasn't come home or been seen since. Howland was last seen wearing a black beanie, brown sweater, and red and black pajama pants. He has moles on his face and braces. News is brought to you by Rooter Hero. A man's been shot by L.A. County Sheriff's deputies on a warrant in Whittier. Deputies from the Sheriff's Special Enforcement Bureau went to a home early yesterday. Officials say SWAT deputies announced themselves and no one answered. So they forced their way in. Lieutenant Charles Calderero says a person inside pulled a gun and was shot. He is the individual that was wanted in the initial investigation. The injured man was listed in critical but stable condition. A man in Monrovia is trying to keep a bear birth from happening under his house. Gary Shutman says two bears have been going under his house through a crawl space, and they're building what looks like a nest. He says the bears tore off the first cover he put over the crawl space to keep them out, so now he's going to bolt down the next one. They're smart enough to figure out how to do most things, but they don't have thumbs, so they can't uh, handle thumb screws and screwdrivers. Shutman says the bear squatters have been coming to his yard since the beginning of the year. The nation has seen a jump in COVID cases this week. Health officials warn that Omicron cases are doubling every few days in the U.S. A doctor says people can stay safe this holiday season with this new variant. What we do know is the way to prevent getting Omicron is the same as what has been instructed and encouraged for the last two years, which is wearing a mask, keep socially distant. Dr. Leila Garabajian says new data showed the variant significantly reduced uh, antibody protection uh, after two doses uh, of a COVID vaccine. Yeah, Queen Elizabeth again has canceled her family's traditional pre-Christmas lunch because of COVID-19. A Buckingham Palace source has confirmed the decision to call off the royal gathering at Windsor Castle comes amid the Omicron variant surge. The call said to be a precaution as it could put too many people's Christmas arrangements at risk if it went ahead. ABC's Tom Rivers says it's the second time the event's been canceled. And the makers of Philadelphia cream cheese are offering people a chance to get 20 bucks if their holiday dessert is not made with cream cheese. Tomorrow and Saturday, Kraft will give 18,000 people a chance at a digital reward if they can show they bought another holiday treat. The campaign is a way to soften the blow from a shortage of cream cheese. We're checking the 134. <laughs> that, that one confuses me for sure. All right, the drive for banks are looking like now. Listen up, this uh, sounds pretty bad. Westbound 134 past Hollywood Way. Three drivers of Tangled. The HP is running a, well, an all stop or a break, whatever you want to call it, to clear it. But the carpool left lane are blocked. This is backing up pretty quick now coming, there from, uh, coming away from Hollywood Way. Uh, if you still have the option, Riverside, uh, Alameda to Riverside, the fruits to look like, that's in pretty good shape. Now, LAX, I wonder if you've got last time around, the busy media there is going to be pegged in the red till after the first of the year. So, here we go, North 405, Long Beach up, it's still in fairly good shape, it's getting slow here and there. Southbound, you have to wait till you get to the until it's been closed all the way down the airport. Finally, West 105, that's always kind of busy. 
especially 710 through the 110, but uh, so far all lines open. Hopefully we'll keep it that way. KFI in the sky. Helps get you there faster. I'm Jeff Baugh. And the Chargers have a Thursday night day with the Kansas City Chiefs at SoFi Stadium. Kickoff set for 515 live on Alt 98. Oh, 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 Totally, but also keep the holidays. Fire up the test out, Sarah. I'm not sure I follow. People are getting pumped by coffee during summer, radio station slash holiday playlist in October. I truly have my mind. So, do you think your family holiday schedule around Toyota Thon? Bingo. Toyota Thon comes around like clockwork. How else do we know it's time to celebrate? It actually makes a lot of sense. Now, if I could only figure out what to take down my car. So, Cal Weather from We should be sunny and right around 60 for the weekend, and then another chance of rain comes the first part of next week. We leave local, live from the KFI 25 I'm Jeff can the Army National Guard family needs everything? Okay. They're really supportive. They're all Army Hawks to join. I got my education because of the Guard. I got to travel a little bit. We experienced a whole different culture. They helped me get my education in my house. They have a partner in the Army National Guard. They have a family that they can rely on. They have a family that they can rely on. They have a family that they can rely on. They have a family that they can rely on. They have a family that they can rely on. They have a family that they can rely on. They have a family that they can rely on. They have a family that they can rely on. They have a family that they can rely on. They have a family that they can rely on. They have a family that they can rely on. They have a family that they can rely on. They have a family that they can rely this winter, we look all the time to protect our families from COVID-19. Getting vaccinated can help us protect against severe illness and death. Wherever on Disney, Disney and Pixar, it's eligible for the vaccine. If you're already fully vaccinated, get the booster to keep your immunity strong. Keeping COVID safe is simple. Get vaccinated. Visit MyTerms.ca.com. Oh, Pixar, 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 Pixar
Uh, the trial of Elizabeth Holmes is now in its final phase. Oh, that's a sorry. That's a sorry. That's a sorry. That's a sorry. Also, there was a uh, report of an California near Volta Chica State Ranch, but it's only 30 by 30. So we're trying to figure out what it is. But whatever it is, it's no huge deal. In fact, it's no big deal. It's not even a moderate deal. <laughs> Medical news time, and boy, we have a bunch of stuff to cover with uh, Dr. Jim Key, co director of the ER and Hospital in Michigan. Jim, as always, thanks for joining us. Good morning. How are you feeling this morning? Let's talk about the, um, uh, the Omicron variant. What we know, how dangerous it is, uh, how transmissible it is, how virulent it is. What's the latest? 